There's just a multiple of facets that make me who I am today. One of the, you know, the scariest moments of my entire racing career. Hell, as a kid, I had dreams to do different things like any kid, but I mean, it was really anything from like, I wanted to be a professional baseball player or I wanted to be a fireman. Sort of dream that I even had. Well, the first time I got in a race car, I absolutely loved it. And it was, it was everything I dreamed about as a kid, you know, driving for the first time. It was incredible. And I was like, oh, okay, when do I get back in the car next? Like, I was hooked. It's just incredible to get into a high powered, great handling race car and race it down a road where somebody blocks off the beginning and end and just says, go as fast as you can from point A to point B. And here's these instructions as to what every corner is in every straightaway and drive as flat out to these notes into the road that you possibly can. I've been driven since I was a kid for not necessarily success, I would say for accomplishment. When I set out to do something, I really want to succeed at it. That goes from like a very small art project I may want to do all the way through to a major business that for some reason I just want to see whatever idea I have through and do it the best that I possibly can. Anything from a business adventure to even a social media post, it's how can, how can we be creative, do things in a different way, but also show a love for life and a love for having fun. I grew up in a family with a dad that loved baseball, so I've been to hundreds of Dodgers games. I just had other interests. I didn't like team sports as much. So I really liked skateboarding and riding dirt bikes, and eventually got into snowboarding. To me, the creativity in those sports, everything from what you did on the snowboard to even the art and music and culture around them just was much more appealing to me than a stick and ball sport. I genuinely appreciated like the technology and the design and the design of not only the, like the boots and the gear and the helmets, but even the really subtle things that even came from the industry like sunglasses. Yeah. And so as I, as I got older, especially in high school, I got into classes where I could actually start creating things myself. I had started, you know, a small business to get, you know, to make apparel for skateboarding and I uh, had my business partner, Damon. You know, I was in a graphics class at Palomar College. I sat next to Damon in an algebra class. We both just had similar interests in graphic arts to actual apparel design. You know, we started with a small brand called 8Ball. We were just trying to make something that we thought kids that were in skateboarding consumers would like. We didn't know anything about trademark laws. We found out after a short time was, hey, somebody actually owned this trademark. Eventually we started DC because we saw the opportunity to make a better skateboard shoe. And we had two great pros, Danny Wayne and Colin McKay, along with Rob Deerdick and Josh Kalis that really took off. Over time, we just were able to really grow DC from something, you know, quite small to, you know, a very big worldwide sold brand. From nothing to, you know, 150 million in sales when we sold it. So that was just a success story for all the hard work that we put into it. Thank you.
I raced in Rally America, which is a series that I paid as a privateer to go race. Ended up getting Rookie of the Year, and at the end of that year, I made the decision to keep racing. And then every year forward, I just kept getting better and better. Over time, I, I really went from being a guy that sat in an office every day during work to being a guy that trained to try and be a champion. Ben Block wins in Charlotte! And that was a signature slide, Ben. Not a mistake in that final corner. He is all about the show. The ain't care part of it is, like, I care more about the goal than the piece of equipment. We celebrate this stuff. This is all about trying as hard as you can and not having mechanical sympathy because sometimes mechanical sympathy can get in your way. For me, it's always pushing that mindset of being creative and doing it in a positive way and doing it in a very fun way. For me, the simple legacy is I hope I just inspire other people in a positive way to really go out and live their dreams.